call the meeting to order. This is a regularly scheduled Greer City Council meeting uh, called and convened on this evening, June 22nd, 2021. Having called the meeting to order, I'd like to ask Council Member Mark Hopper to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by an invocation for Council. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege it is to be here this evening. We thank you for the beautiful weather outside. Father, we thank you for the way you continue to bless us as individuals and families and as a community. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to serve uh, your community and our residents. We pray that you give us wisdom and humility as we conduct the city's business this evening. Lord, I pray that we would serve you as we serve our constituents, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ms. Duncan, anybody to appear in public forum this evening? No, sir. With that, Council will move to the minutes of the Council meeting from June 8th, 2021. I'll entertain a motion that they be received. So moved. And a second. Second. Okay. Any items of note for the clerk? Hearing none, Ms. Duncan? Mr. Hopper? Yes. Mr. Dumas? Yes. Mr. Bettis? Yes. Ms. Albert? Yes. Mayor Danner? Yes. We have a number of special recognitions this evening, as you can tell, most involve the fire department this evening. Um, I'm going to ask the chief if uh, he will uh, come to the podium along with the deputy chief, Josh Holtzheimer, uh, to make a couple of um, uh, special recognitions of achievement, and then I will uh, join him here in just a minute. Chief, the floor is yours, sir. Good evening, Mayor, members of council. Um, we are very fortunate tonight to be able to recognize several of our staff. Um, I am going to turn over the two first recognitions to Deputy Chief Holzheimer to go over those, and then I'll follow up with the third. If I could have Lieutenant Matt Tidd will come to the front. Good evening, Mayor, members of council. Lieutenant Matt Tidd will embarked on a year-long journey, which due to COVID, you can Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. <laughs> he embarked on a year-long leadership journey, which turned into a year-and-a-half journey. But he was through the South Carolina State Firefighters Association Leadership Institute. This is a leadership development educational program set in executive-level environment with an emphasis on open communication and group project-based skills. The Association's Leadership Institute is offered to individuals to improve their and develop fire service leadership at the state level through networking and education partnering of many facets of the fire service profession. I would like to congratulate Lieutenant Matt Tidwell on his completion of the Fire Service Leadership Institute. Let's give Matt a round of applause. Lieutenant Tidwell is the fourth member of the Greer Fire Department to graduate the Leadership Institute. Thank you. <clears throat> Next, I'd like to call up Battalion Chief Paul Brown, Engineer Joe Borelli, Firefighter Andrew Morgan, and Engineer Doug Bryant. These members were recognized by the South Carolina State Firefighters Association at the annual Transfer Command Banquet for a Meritorious Action Award for a call that was actually occurred in July 3rd of 2019. At approximately 7 p.m., Engine 56, Rescue 41, and Battalion 41 were dispatched to a motor vehicle versus motorcycle crash at Subaru Road and South Highway 14. Engine 56 arrived within less than three minutes after dispatch to find a patient pinned by their motorcycle and bleeding heavily from a carotid artery laceration. The crew notified dispatch that the patient was a level one trauma alert and Battalion 41 requested a medevac helicopter to be dispatched to the scene. With help from bystanders at the, on the scene, the crew of Engine 56 removed the motorcycle from the patient and established patient care. The crew utilized critical trauma dressings to control the bleeding from the patient's neck. While performing the intervention, the patient appeared to stop breathing. 
A pulse check was conducted and the patient was found to be in cardiac arrest and CPR was initiated. The air, an airway was inserted and ventilation was assisted. After that point, Battalion 41, Rescue 41 arrived on scene and assisted with patient care. After one round of CPR, the patient regained a pulse and began breathing on their own. The crews continued to assist the patient with breathing and Greer Fire Department paramedic Austin Blanchard established an IV to assist in replacing some of the volume loss of blood due to the extensive bleeding. The first EMS unit arrived and established, or then the helicopter began administering blood through that IV to help the patient. The patient for, survived severe injury with fatality rate approaching 100% due to teamwork and quick actions of the Battalion Chief Paul Brown, Engineer Joe Borelli from Greer Fire Department, Engineer Doug Bryant from Pelham Batesville Fire Department, and Firefighter EMT Andrew Morgan, and Firefighter Paramedic Austin Blanchard. These members were recognized, as I said, at the annual association transfer command banquet. I'd like to congratulate them on their meritorious action award. Okay, for the last recognition, um, I'm going to have you go ahead and up and have your family come up as well. And I'm going to ask the mayor to help me out with this. So. <laughs> this final recognition tonight um, goes to Josh Holzheimer is the Executive Fire Officer Program, which has existed for a little over 36 years. It's the flagship program for the National Fire Academy. And it is a four-year commitment, graduate level work. And during that program, they learn to exercise leadership in a very difficult um, situations. And the work is four years two weeks per year on campus, followed by six months to do applied research. In layman's terms, that is a paper. We all love papers, right? So uh, again, because of pretty much everything else that was affected by COVID, it was drawn out a little bit longer, but he did persevere, and he has, uh, has earned that. Give you a little bit of information about the program. Again, a little over 36 years, approximately 4,500 graduates, State of South Carolina, there's 48. Two in the city of Greer. So I'd like to congratulate Deputy Chief Holzheimer for earning his Executive Fire Officer Certificate. good to have the opportunity to recognize um, those whose uh, actions um, support the city and uh, particularly in regards to uh, the efforts this evening of those that were recognized for, for, for various different efforts, both on the education side and the training side and the response side. Um, people don't uh, fully understand sometimes how much uh, both our fire department and our police department uh, trains, but there are literally thousands of hours of training in those two departments uh, over the course of a year's time. And uh, the, uh, the fire department is, uh, is, is uh, steeped in that tradition, as, as you saw tonight, uh, a, a amazing uh, rescue by our fire department that um, survival rate is uh, uh, basically zero and they were able to, uh, to, to save a man's life and then uh, those folks that have, uh, have spent time uh, furthering their, uh, their career and knowledge uh, through education, it's uh, ongoing for um, 
not only our fire and police, but for other departments as well, but certainly those departments uh, lead the charge in that regard. And so we appreciate uh, their time and, and their effort. Uh, departmental reports are contained in your packets this evening. Uh, you will uh, gladly get information from the administrator if you have questions in that regard. And Ms. Howell joins us for our financial report this evening. Good evening, Mayor and Council. I'll give you a financial update for the general fund as of May 31st, 2021. Starting with revenue, we collected $1.5 million for a year-to-date total of $30,136,000. The operational expenditures in May totaled $1.9 million, and there was a fund balance usage of $241,000. So we have a year-to-date total expenditures of $26.9 million. If you refer to your dashboards where we compare actual to benchmark, you'll see we have an overall positive variance of $4,364,000. And the cash balance in the general fund is $17 $444,000. That's it for the general fund, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, ma'am. Questions? Thank you, as always. Council, let's move to appointments of boards and commissions, the first of which is the Board of Zoning Appeals. Um, District 2, um, Mr. Griffin is not with us this evening in that regard. Uh, District 4. Uh, I believe you've got information in that regard, um, Mr. Demis. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I have a candidate that that uh, has basically agreed to serve. He just wants a little bit more information, and I feel confident that we'll have him confirmed and ready for the next meeting. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, in the um, election commission, um, Mr. Lamb. Has resigned effective 622 2021. We will accept uh, that and uh, need to find his replacement uh, for our election commission. Uh, I suspect the reason that he has offered his resignation is you will find in the planning commission um, there is an opening in District 6. Ms. Albert, would you like to uh, make a motion as to who yes. that person might be? Yes, I would like to make a motion for uh, Paul Lamb to serve on the planning commission for District 6. Mr. Lamb is no stranger to us, having served on a number of different boards and commissions and uh, having served on our election commission uh, for a number of years. Uh, Ms. Albert makes that nomination. Do I hear a second? Second. Any additional information or questions of Ms. Albert of uh, her nomination? Hearing none, Ms. Duncan? Mr. Hopper? Yes. Mr. Dumas? Yes. Mr. Bettis? Yes. Ms. Albert? Yes. Mayor Danner? Yes. We have another opening in District uh, 3. Mr. Creasy's term expires 6-30-2021. Mr. Hopper, any new or additional information in that regard? Mr. Mayor, I think we're very close to finalizing uh, what we're going to do here. So we will have that hopefully buttoned up for us to talk about our first meeting in July and have um, someone in place for the first meeting of July, or for our next meeting, rather. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Let's move to items of new business, the first of which is the first and final reading of resolution number 8-2021. This is a resolution authorizing a lease purchase agreement series 2021 in the principal amount not exceeding $2,635,234 relating to the financing of equipment for municipal purposes and authorizing the execution and delivery of said documents, including the lease agreement. Mr. Seifert joins us for that conversation. Floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, the resolution presented to you tonight is the next step in the authoritative process to uh, move forward with the lease purchases that we have just approved for the fiscal year 2022 budget. Um, and this encompasses the full amount to be borrowed for the capital equipment fund. Council, this comes with the recommendation of staff to have a motion to receive. Second. Floor is open for discussion. Questions? Comments? Hearing none, Ms. Duncan? Mr. Hopper? Yes. Mr. Dumas? Yes. Mr. Bettis? Yes. Ms. Albert? Yes. Mayor Danner? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Council, the second 
item before us this evening is the first and final reading of resolution number 9-2021. This is a resolution requesting Greenville County to authorize and approve under certain conditions the execution and delivery of a fee in lieu of tax and special source credit agreement with Project Homecoming. Uh, Mr. Merriman, information in that regard, please, sir? Yes, sir. This uh, resolution, and I want to be very clear about this, is not the inducement resolution that we would ordinarily pass uh, when a uh, <clears throat> request uh, when considering a multi-county industrial park. Uh, effectively, this is a resolution from council asking Greenville County to begin the process <coughs> of considering a multi-county industrial park for Project Homecoming. So uh, it's, it's no more than a formal request that they begin their own legislative process. They had initially requested that we do the formal inducement resolution now at this time. Um, I wasn't terribly comfortable with that. I know um, uh, our bond council wasn't either, and typically we do those at uh, in between second and third reading or even first and second reading of the county. Um, but in this case, it's, it's just our blessing the process. This request for resolution 9-2021 for our blessing comes from staff. I'll entertain a motion to receive. Second. Motion and a second. Uh, any questions in that regard, comments or discussion? What was the reason for the request? Evidently, at some point in the past, and um, and I don't know which municipality it was, but the uh, the county had gone down the road of their committee hearings and first reading and second reading, and then whatever municipality it was, and I don't even know that it was in Greenville County, um, the municipality said, yeah, we're, thanks, but no thanks, and they had already spent a lot of staff time and expense, and so they really, I guess, want to know how serious we are on the front end, so this is where we are. Mr. Hopper? Yes. Mr. Dumas? Yes. Mr. Bettis? Yes. Ms. Albert? Yes. Mayor Danner? Yes. Mr. Mayor, before we uh, adjourn, um, I know how much you guys like to hear me talk, and, <laughs> and I, love, I love to talk, but I missed my opportunity tonight to do the administrator's report, and I don't know that I can go to sleep without having done that. So if you don't mind, let me just brief. Shall we back up to the administration? Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't know if you caught it, let's, but I wanted to make sure. Uh, I'm sensitive like that. Mr. Mayor, do you have an administrative report this evening? Yes, sir, and it will be brief. Uh, reminder, Freedom Blast. Uh, as you can see, the bunting, which I just learned is a word, has gone up over here on the trellis and so we're getting prepared for um, all of that work as you know um, it's a it's a big event here in Greer and I anticipate it being bigger this year uh, purely because there's pent-up demand and uh, we seem to be the only show in the upstate um, so I'm really excited about that uh, so that that will be this weekend uh, the second thing is is in all seriousness I'm, I'm requesting or notifying council tonight that um, we have actually, we need to do some HVAC repair for the courts building. And we have the money available in this year's budget. Now, ordinarily, what I would do is we would uh, bring it to you because the expense is over $30,000. But in this particular case, uh, it's a sole proprietor, and we'd like to encumber this money in this year's budget. So what I'm uh, requesting of council is to allow me to sign the PO to get the uh, process started and at the first meeting in July we will bring not only that uh, back to you for your approval but also the HVAC repairs for this building that's scheduled to be done. So this is more of a notification that uh, I, we need to go ahead and do that but I wanted it uh, encumbered in this year's, this year's budget where we have some room for it. Um, the last thing, or the other thing, is a um, reminder that uh, July 15th at 12 p.m. and running through August 16th at 12 p.m. is uh, filing for elections. So uh, if you are, um, if, if it's your time, I, you need to go through that process. And the last thing, of course, is this is my first time in uh, the new council setup, and if I would have known, it would have distanced me from Mr. Airwood. Uh, we would have gone through this this route a lot quicker. I, I, I like I like the view over here. With that, Mr. Mayor, that that concludes my report. Thank you, sir. Uh, anything else for the good of the group this evening? Anything in the executive session, Mr. Merriman? Uh, no, sir. Council, with that, stand adjourned.